Welcome. In this lecture, I'm just going to go through uh, what it means to be a local max or a local min for a two variable function. So suppose that we have that, uh, so suppose we have that AB is not in the, on the domain's boundary. Okay, so it's kind of inside, uh, is not on the domain's boundary. Okay, uh, so that's going to be the supposition for both of these. So then we're going to say we have a local max at AB. So what's the circumstance for that? So a, so I want to do this in green actually. So we're going to have a local max um, at this point AB. Uh, and this is actually going to be... Um, Actually, why don't I just word that slightly differently? So we're going to say that uh, we're going to say so f of x, y is, so this is a local max you know, and it's at a, b and it's at a, b Right. So in what circumstance does this give us a local max? It's just another one of these tricky circumstances. We talked about this when we did one variable functions, um, where this is the input. And, uh, and so you'd say, and this is what's actually the max, but you would say that it's at a, b. This is what the wording is supposed to uh, mean. So if, so when does this happen? This happens if we have that f of a, b, so when I plug this point a, b into my function, I'm going to get out a value that's at least as big as what I get for any other function. This is, it's the biggest value I could possibly get. Okay, so this is for all points x, y, but we're only looking at nearby. Okay, so for all points... X, Y that are near my original point AB. So here's kind of the picture. Um, so our domain, I'm going to do my whole domain in orange, is like it's. So we have down here, this is still kind of the height. Okay, um, and we have the graph of our function, and, and, and I don't know what happens in other parts of it. I just know that. Wait, sorry. Right, this is like the graph of my function, and I, what I do know is that um, at this particular value here, so, right, you know, not necessarily looking at what's happening in other places, but actually, the, you know, that it, this is going to give me, so F of, so AB would be down here. It's some kind of point down here. And then if I put in F of AB, right, this value, so this is like, I, the, I, I'm going to steal somebody else's terminology for this. This is a hilltop high. Right. But it does kind of help that, you know, it's just a hilltop. There might be multiple hills, right? Because in, in all reality, actually, this is likely also a local um, max, and this is also a local max. But if I look close enough by, right, so if I look close enough by over here, so I'm looking over here, then all of those values are less than it. It is the like peak value, okay? And then for, we would say that f of x is a local min at a, b. If we had that, and this is just the opposite inequality, so this is like when you're looking at points nearby, this is the lowest point. So that was the hilltop high, this is going to be the valley low, okay? Um, so we're going to get if we have that uh, f of a, b, now we're going to have it actually 
be the low point, so it's going to be less than or equal to all of the points close by, so uh, f of x, y, right? Um, for all points x, y, and this is exactly the same thing, it's, we're just looking nearby because that's what, it, when we have the local in front, that's what it means. So for all x, y, uh, near a, b, Okay, so uh, now we're looking for kind of a valley low. So we have something, oh man, maybe it kind of goes, <laughs> having a little bit of, uh, maybe actually in this one, um, the, the, the low point might actually be somewhere over here. It's, it's a little tricky um, with these uh, 3D pictures for it to be so clear. Oh, I know what I'll do instead. We'll make this much clearer. I think in that one, it's not as clear. So why don't we do it this way? We'll go like this. It's a, I think this, for the graph of this function, it's much clearer that, you know, when I'm looking here, this is actually a low point. Okay. Um, so here, this would be like my f of ab. And be I'll label, this is my graph of y equals f of x, y. Right. Um, this again, this is my y equals f of x, y, this graph. And this is, so that's point a, b. So it's like down here I have my domain where I'm defined. And then, you know, maybe it kind of goes upwards. So that's like my z axis. Um, and my point a, b would actually be here. Right. And then I'm looking up at the graph above that and it's the lowest spot. Right. If I'm looking close by. Then that really is the lowest point everywhere. If I'm sitting there, everything when I look around is above me. Um, so this is a valley low. <laughs> um, but I actually find that this kind of hilltop high and valley low um, can help kind of keep it straight a little bit, but we're just looking, and I particularly like the hilltop high and valley low thing, because if you've ever been kind of hiking up in like mountains or hills, you know, there can be a whole bunch of hills, right? But, you know, the the very highest point is going to be what we're going to talk about next time, which would be like the global max. But otherwise, you know, you've got these like local hilltop highs. And the same thing with the valleys, like there may be multiple valleys and some of them may dip lower. But when you're at the bottom of a valley and you look around you, everything looks higher up than you. Um, so that's kind of the idea of local. Okay, so I hope that made some sense and I will see you in the next lecture.